Hello, do you want more efficiency in framing flat drywall ceilings? Are you looking for ways to increase your drywall ceiling productivity? Well, today I'm gonna focus on three productivity enhancing flat drywall framing applications you can use on your next project. There's many more applications, but I'm confident that you'll walk away from this episode with a few great time, material, and labor-saving ideas in your toolbox. Okay, first, by now many of you are aware that 12-foot drywall mains and 4-foot drywall cross tees have replaced black iron and hat channel as the framing of choice in large, flat, hard-lit applications. After all, depending on job characteristics, you can frame around 1,000 square feet of drywall grid versus 350 square feet of black iron and hat channel in one man day. Did you know that you can increase your productivity even more? While eliminating a third of your main runners and a third of your hanger wires. Simply space your main runners six feet apart while stabbing in six foot cross tees on 16 inch centers. This will easily carry a single layer of 5 8 inch drywall while instantly eliminating a third of your main runners and a third of your hanger wires. I know what you're thinking. I won't be able to reliably break and screw my drywall to my main runners anymore. Well, that's true. Remember when you used to screw drywall to hat channel? Did you ever screw to the black iron as well? Well, no, you couldn't because the black iron was 7 8 of an inch higher than the hat channel. Think of your main runners in drywall grid as your black iron and think of your cross tees as your hat channel. With drywall grid, you only need to screw drywall to your cross tees in any layout. Your second flat opportunity is corridors and multifamily condominiums. These areas are typically smaller spans that don't exceed 14 feet. With short span 8, 10, 12, and 14 foot tees, you can span up to 8 foot 6 without any support to structure. If you need to span 8 foot 7 to 14 feet, across a room. All that's needed is our SB12 strong back that locks to your 16 or 24 inch on center tees. Strong back is supported four foot on center with wire or bracing to structure down the middle of the room. You can then literally frame a 14 by 20 foot, 280 square foot room with only five supports to structure. It doesn't get any faster than that. Now, it doesn't end there either. You can actually span 17 feet with short span if you run a drywall locking pocket or a regular main runner down the middle of a 17 foot wide room. You can then span eight foot six off both sides of your main runner, which achieves a 17 foot span. Ready for your third flat drywall grid opportunity? Well, don't forget about heavy membrane load applications. This handy membrane load chart will guide you to the correct main beam, cross T, and hanger wire spacing to achieve heavy membrane loads. For example, let's look at the bottom right hand of this membrane load chart with three foot on center hanger wires to the drywall mains that are spaced two foot on center and then two foot drywall cross tees on 16 inch centers you'll achieve a universal membrane load carrying capability of 26.13 pounds per square foot. What does that mean in real life? Well, suppose you had to uniformly screw heavy plaster form reinforced gypsum panels to a suspended three quarter inch plywood sub ceiling. This chart will direct you to the correct hanger wire and main runner cross T spacing to suspend 3.2 pounds all the way up to 26.13 pounds per square foot. That's some serious versatility. If you like what you're hearing, but would like some additional help on an upcoming project, just contact your regional Armstrong installation specialist who is always ready to help. You can also find your installation specialist by visiting armstrongceilings.com forward slash expertise. Until next time, stay safe and hang with Armstrong Drywall Grid Systems.